Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 31st, 2024. Well, my goodness, as we wind down this month, we have a big day ahead of us. Let's jump right into it and take a look at what happened in the overnight session. We had um, Asian markets um, that were up across the board after Japan raises its central bank benchmark um, rate substantially and the Australian market hits an all-time high. So green across the board with Hong Kong up more than 2% last night. The Nikkei was up 1.49% and that Australian index up 1.75%. Lots of bullishness. Even uh, Shanghai had a good day bouncing up 2% um, last night. If we take a look at European markets, they are also higher across the board. CAC is decidedly bullish, up 1.37%. The FTSE is up 1.41%, and the DAX is up half a percent. As the Eurozone reported, um, a increase, an unexpected increase in inflation. If we take a look at U.S. markets, boy, we are zooming up this morning here. It's interesting that we can't seem to get this done during the day, but overnight um, institutions seem to have that ability to push us up in um, these um, futures markets. We've got the NASDAQ up sharply this morning, up 1.5%. Um, the S&P 500 is up nearly 1%, and the Dow futures are up 0.30% this morning. If we take a look at um, our oil, well, we can see here in oil, we've been moving up here on these oil sector stocks, and oil is zooming up this morning as well. We've got oil um, up 2.12% at 76.85 a barrel. And Brent is jumping up 1.92% uh, or dollar ninety two. there I said it, at 80.55 a barrel as um, we see um, um, uh, more tensions growing in the Middle East between uh, Lebanon, Hezbollah, and um, Israel as attacks are being tossed back and forth now between those two. Natural gas this morning is lower, this, um, but just ever so slightly. Let's take a look at our precious metals here this morning. Precious metals are moving higher this morning with gold currently up $12.70 an ounce in the pre-market futures. We've got silver up this morning. Let's take a look at that GLD. Um, had a nice push yesterday, pushing to the upside today um, on those uncertainty items, um, really raising some concerns here. We've got silver up just slightly, but hardly uh, not in a bullish pattern here copper platinum and palladium even higher this morning bouncing up still in a downtrend however and then if we take a look at those crypto markets well crypto is trying to recover some of yesterday's losses bitcoin is now up a dollar fifty excuse me a hundred and fifty dollars a coin and we have quite a mix in those crypto markets this morning looking at our bonds here today well interesting going on here um, the two-year bond slipping back just a tiny little bit at 4.36 percent the 10-year continues to slip back at 4.13 percent in the 30-year bonds at 4.39 percent so what does all that mean for the day well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the morning market prep video
Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. And um, we want to shake off that bias and remember to look at the charts for what they are, not for what you want them to be. So interesting yesterday that we finished with a um, shooting star uh, or gravestone doji here at the top yesterday when we closed up the market. It. And yet, this morning, we are gapping substantially up and possibly even challenging the top side or the highs of yesterday to see if we can break through. And I guess a lot of that has to do with earnings hopes. Now, um, interestingly enough, AMD um, reported well last night. Nice pop there in AMD after the bell yesterday. But Microsoft really disappointed pushing lower um, on Microsoft yesterday. It did come back up off of its lows um, and is looking a little bit lower this morning. So keep an eye on those things. We've got a lot of fluctuation going on here in these prices. If we take a look at our diamonds, you can see if the bulls were to find additional um, inspiration here today, well, first off, we really do. We need to break through that area right there to see if we can push on higher break on through that little resistance in the chart and if we can then we start looking higher up in here and looking for those attacks of the all-time highs here in the diamonds i think there's every reason to believe that that is certainly possible with the kind of emotion that we're seeing in the market today with a massive round of earnings both before the bell and after the bell and then of course we're going to be getting um, an FOMC decision that is largely expected that um, Jerome Powell is not going to raise rates but maybe signal that um, or excuse me um, lower rates but then signal that perhaps in September they will start making an adjustment so that being um, the case the market is always pretty excited about a rate cut despite the fact that we're seeing real weakness in the overall economy and the consumers now if the bears were to find inspiration here today well certainly we have the catalyst available to provide that so I would look for a pushback down down here to test this area of price support if those bears were to get going and if that were to fail coming back down through the bottom side of that little support area in I, uh, the diamonds failing through there well of course you can see we've got a pretty good support down here and somewhere between this area right in here and this area right in here would be a pretty good support level and that would push us down here to test this upside trend in the chart so if the bears got going well we've got some levels in here that can hold us if we take a look at the spy however spy pretty rough yesterday the spy dropped down um, pretty hard and then ended up bouncing back right there at the end of the day on tech reports and as you can see, trying to hold on to this price support. And this morning, we're seeing that bullish push in here. So if those bulls can continue that this morning, then we need to see them break through this resistance and then start pushing up through that downtrend. And if we can do that, then we have this potential gap up here that could be filled. And that could be a quick move back up into that area if we can find that inspiration here in the market and then of course tagging into this resistance then be a really big move in the market for the day but with the data that we've got coming and the emotion that we see in this market certainly possible now at the same time um, i've been mentioning um, both days uh, monday and tuesday this week as we gapped up to watch for a potential whipsaw I'm going to say the same today with the emotion of this market, that possibility that we could open higher and then end up reversing on the day. And so let's take a look right in here. There could be some support in that uh, chart. If we can hold that area, we'll be golden. But if we were to break that, well, my suggestion is we would probably come back down here and test these lows in the chart. Breaking down through there, of course, 
well then we start slipping into this gap here in the chart and coming on down toward the major area of price support here in the chart. Now, if you take a look at how we finished up yesterday, we finished up yesterday just hanging right onto that 50 day moving average. So perhaps we can use that 50 day moving average as a support level in the chart to bounce us up today. But again, watch for that potential whipsaw. Failing of that 50 day would be um, psychologically a rough thing for the market to take right now. If we take a look at our QQQ, now our QQQ had a rough day yesterday as well. Actually was down here below our prior low. So we did technically complete a, um, a, a, a full on lower high, lower low situation in the market. And that is the uh, follow through here in that market to the downside. So we've got a pretty good price support down in here and it's somewhere between this level right in here and I would say this level right across in here. So pretty good price support where we bounced yesterday. Now the question is if the bulls can continue to find inspiration here on the day, can they push on through this little level of price resistance that we have created in the chart and see if we can push back up and challenge this downtrend in the chart. And if we can, and I think there certainly is reason to believe we could, then pushing right up into here would be um, an interesting um, level of price resistance because we've got quite a little price action in there. Breaking through there, I'm gonna suggest we would come up here and we would test somewhere between um, those two lines as a potential congestion zone. You can, you can see how we've spent some time in this area. So if we can pop through here, we might end up spending some time in that con congestion zone. If those bears, however, were to find inspiration today, well, first off, we're going to look right in here and see if we can hold that area of price support. If that were to fail, then I'm going to suggest that possibility that we could push on back and retest this low in the chart and uh, maybe um, more of a s more solid test of that support level in the chart that runs back here. And this is a, a nice, significant level of price support in the chart. Breaking down through there would really be a major concern here for the market. And we could see um, a substantial sell-off if we were to break down below that area. So watch that carefully. Now, if we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart on the QQQ, well, we're still below our 50-day moving average. So even with a substantial rally back up, we could slam our head right into that 50-day moving average and find some resistance there. So watch that carefully as we challenge this downtrend in the QQQ with all this emotion that we have in the market. And if we take a look at our IWM, well, IWM continued to hold up nicely yesterday as we continue to see that rotation happening here. It's just got an ever so slightly upside lean. We continue to struggle with this resistance area in the chart. So if the bulls can find inspiration here today, then look for that possibility of popping through. But I will tell you, if if the tech sector continues um, to show the kind of strength that it's showing this morning, we might actually see that rotation that was going in to the Dow as we deleverage from big tech, kind of rotating into the Dow, rotating into IWM. Well, if, if the um, QQQ is surging as much as it is this morning, it may actually suck money right out of these um, um, indexes and, and pull some of that rotation back. So be careful here. We've got an interesting situation here in the market where there seems to just be such a centric view in um, tech right now. But watch that carefully. If we can push on through this resistance, then I would suggest that next level up is right up there in the chart and that takes us to these tops here 
in the uh, 2001 and 2002 congestion area of IWM and pushing on through there well you can see we've got that possibility of coming up here and then breaking into um, all-time highs or new highs in the Russell so watch that carefully and of course if the bears were to find inspiration it's pretty easy to see where we go here we would probably pop down little area of price support right there through there we'd probably come down into this area of the chart and on lower if those bears were to really get going here in the Russell now if we take a look at our VIX our VIX did end up holding yesterday a higher low and you can see that little bullish action in there but because we have such a big pump up here in the pre-market right now let's watch that carefully this higher low if those bulls can find that push that really strong push to the upside I would expect to see this come down now if it starts to move on lower we need to watch this area price support here remember we're holding this upside trend if that were to break then we could push pretty substantially lower maybe into this next level of price support however if those bears find reason to continue this attack in the market then we have that opportunity that we could continue to push on up remember this is a big long downtrend here in the VIX and breaking above this area with some strength could really raise some fear in the market so keep an eye on that remember everyone as we go through all of this emotion that we've got with these details um, in the market right now um, all of your option prices are going up due to that high implied volatility as we see that that energy that anticipation in our earnings and of course an FOMC this afternoon let's take a look at a um, and they're going up because of implied volatility the cost of the extrinsic value of those options are going higher if we take a look at our t20s our t2122 we finished the day yesterday with a little tiny hook here to uh, the upside um, despite the fact that we had so much selling coming into the market so watching that carefully with this big push this morning there's a really good chance that we could be um, right up here in the bearish reversal zone first thing this morning that we could pop right up there gap up into here and um, then we'll see if we have enough energy to follow through um, and that's been in question here lately if the bears were to find inspiration well just understand that we've got a very big downside opportunity still in t2122 if those bears find something to grab a hold of and then if we take a look at our t2108 t2108 pulled back just a little bit and then hooked back up this is a bullish chart that's the only way you can look at it we're holding support levels in here now we do have that concern that we're reaching into this zone where we could be getting a little bit on the frothy side so watch for that possibility but right now the bulls are definitely in control here on t2108 and t2107 the same we are extremely bullish here pushing into these big resistance areas of the chart showing lots of bullishness and hooking back up yesterday as well but here's our problem if you looked at our volume yesterday volume was incredibly low this morning they're trying to pump it up in the pre-market let's see if that volume or that breadth here in the market can actually show some follow-through here today with this big upside surge are we going to see breadth go along with this move because one of the things we've been witnessing the last couple of days we gap up in the morning and there's no breath in the market and we continue to see that those reversals and whipsaws pulling things back down so what we need to see is we need to see an accompanying increase in breadth on this bullish wave for us to hold it if that doesn't occur well watch for that potential whipsaw here in the market and then let's take a look at our um, 
economic calendar for today and I apologize I'm running fast today as, as quickly as I can because I'm a little bit short on time this morning had a couple issues that I had to deal with so looking um, at um, this market this morning on our economic calendar well you know we've got our mortgage applications coming in here this morning we've got an ADP report coming in they're looking for ADP to show a little increase in those private payrolls so watch that carefully we saw a little bit of that yesterday with that job openings report actually increasing that doesn't help us a lot in the fed lowering those rates if we continue to see that being really strong remember we've got a treasury refunding statement here today keep an eye on that we're printing more money and <laughs> as we just continue to grow and grow our um, national debt. If we take a look at um, employment uh, cost index, we've got that this morning. They're looking for that to come in at a 1.0. That's a little bit of a decline over 1.2. We've got some bond um, announcements here, a Chicago PMI that they're expecting that to decline to 44.3 from 47.4, showing that weakness that we're seeing in our economy. Um, also pending home sales, they're looking for that to improve from a negative 2.1 to a 1.1. I don't know, some of that data that we've been seeing lately might suggest that might be a little bit on the hopeful side. Watch that one closely. And then we've got petroleum status here today. We've got a four month bill auction. And then of course the Mac Daddy of the day, the FOMC will be coming out with their Fed statement. And just remember, we're likely to see some volatility around that statement with probably no rate cut and that um, in October, or in, I mean um, this month, which I think a lot of people are hoping for, but maybe signaling that uh, September might be um, the opportunity for a rate cut here in the market. Um, remember, as we move into Friday, we've got job, or Thursday, jobless claims, productivity, and costs. We've got uh, a PMI manufacturing number, an ISM manufacturing number, construction spending, natural gas, bond auctions, and of course, a Fed balance sheet at the end of the day. Let's take a look at what we've got on our earnings calendar. And guys, it is a massive day of earnings. There's just no way I can cover those this morning in the uh, prep video. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning log blog and you will be able to see that full list of notables and there are a bunch here for today it is huge so i'm not even going to try to cover some of those uh, but i will say this afternoon um, one of our most notables is going to be meta so be paying attention to meta this afternoon for that potential report Let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and that helps the channel to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that, shares these videos on your social media feed, and even helps support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link that's also below the title of the video. So let's take a look at some of these charts that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market and never blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. So let's, that being said, let's just jump right into this. Let's take a look. Um, I have been mentioning that a uh, little bit of a defensive sector um, type rally rotation coming into play. Take a look at stocks like uh, CPB. Campbell Soup had a really nice day yesterday pushing to the upside uh, three days up in that move and we may be trying to break through 
to some new highs here. So watch carefully on CPB. We're going to hear from KHC in a report today. Keep a close eye on that. That's trying to build a nice little bullish pattern. What One of the patterns that we call a round of bottom breakout trying to uh, push up. So I would keep an eye on that here today in KHC. You might want to be keeping a close eye on Tyson. Tyson making nice moves in here, pushing through some resistance in the chart. Maybe that possibility of um, breaking on up and uh, finishing this bottom in the chart. I would watch that pretty closely on Tyson. You could also take a quick look at Coke, which has been really strong to the upside. Any rest or pullback now would set up an opportunity. We've got PepsiCo in there showing good signs to the upside, pushing up. Keep an eye on that if any rest or pullback comes in there. So, um, and one of the themes that these uh, stocks have is they're in that consumer defensive sector. They're good, strong dividend payers. So keep an eye on those. Stocks like Colgate have just been ripping to the upside this whole year, looking really good in that defensive sector. So keep an eye on that. That's trying to push on up here as well. Um, yesterday to the upside. Let's take a look at um, our oil sector. Um, oil has been had a nice day. Whoops, sorry, that's a two-day chart. Um, moving up nicely here um, yesterday and trying to push against some resistance in the chart. And if you look into that sector, there are some stocks starting to show some of those bullish signs uh, pushing back up here. You can see Hess breaking through some resistance any rest or pullback in there might set up an opportunity. Take a look at Oxid, I mean, um, Exxon Mobil trying to break through a bottoming pattern here and break to the upside, showing some strength. So I do think there is a reason to be paying attention here in some of these oil sector stocks pushing up and particularly with the worry of the conflict growing here between Lebanon and Israel. We have that uh, definite reason why these, why these stocks could start catching a bid to the upside with that worry and concern of oil prices running higher. So take a look at these um, EPA being a very nice chart here to pay attention to. Also, we want to be paying attention to the financial sector. Financials have been rallying to the upside in a major hope of rate cuts here in the market to help them become uh, much more profitable. And you can see stretching to the upside in this move. Now, of course, this could have some major impacts based on the FOMC, um, how they sound today um, in their actions. But watch this carefully. It's always beneficial for the big banks for those rates to be cut because then they can make more money. They borrow at the low end of the curve and they um, um, lend at the long end of the curve. And right now, big bank lending is, is really, really low. And um, they need those rate cuts to start improving some of those balance sheets here and getting some more lending going. So watch that carefully. Continue to keep an eye here on AKAM. Although it's going to report earnings here on the 8th, still in a very bullish pattern, I think it's worth keeping an eye on. I really like the way this chart in TAP is holding up in here. It did pull back, trying to find that trend and support. Again, defensive sector stock. But if this can find those buyers stepping back up in there, I would keep an eye on that for that potential upside move. And um, I continue to really think um, um, IBM is just a beautiful upside trending chart. Nice little resting consolidation happening in here. I would be watching for that next opportunity for that to pop on through to the upside as well. So keep an eye on those charts. We've got quite a few that are showing bullishness. Uh, by the way, taking a look at things like Pfizer that continues to look good. And I have a bias here. I'm holding a long term uh, trade on, on Pfizer, but boy, we're seeing a lot of bullishness in that area of the drug makers with J&J &J and things like that surging to the upside. So 
watch them as well. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. And I'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Have an awesome day, everyone.